Wow. I'm telling you what, Mom. That new Kroger marketplace, they opened here in town, is huge. Who would have ever thought, you could go to a grocery store, to buy socks and underwear, of all things. I know. In the words of John Belushi, that place has got everything. Shopping at that new Kroger store is a lot like going to Walmart. Would you believe they also sell tires and windshield wipers and iron skillets as well? I did get a good deal on some beach towels that we will need for our beach vacation this summer. I know that Kroger we used to have next to the old Kmart was a huge place. If you ask me, I think Gordon Ramsay and Guy Fieri would have a field day shopping at our old Kroger and our new Kroger. And would you believe that old shopping center where Kmart and Kroger used to be is where Elkins and Boxing Audiovisual is moving their operations to now? I guess they needed the space after their old studio was burned down. Deke. Oof. I still say, you're one of the creepiest things that's ever happened to me. Why do you always have to creep me out so much? That's because, you're one of my favorites to scare. Especially, because your bedroom, kind of looks like something, out of an old Deke Entertainment cartoon. Ha 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 ha. Hey. What the? What is that? Hey, Daryl. Is that a mystical blue dragon that just landed on your shoulder? Um. Yes, it is. But what would he be doing here? Uh, what a nice comfy place to sit right on top of this logo. I have no idea what TIC means, but it's chrome exterior. Sure is comfortable. Um, pardon me, blue dragon thing. What are you doing here, on top of Deke, and in my bedroom window? My name is Duke. Duke the Blue Dragon. And I have come to ask you for a little favor. What kind of favor do you want from me? I would request of you that you make me a sandwich right away. A blue dragon has to eat on the go, you know. But why on earth would you want a sandwich at a quarter past nine? Don't you think it's kind of late at night for something like that? Give me a sandwich, please. Mom's right. It's a little too late at night to be eating sandwiches. You'll get a tummy ache. Plus, I already had a big dinner at Shame on You tonight, and I am very tired. You will bring me a sandwich immediately, or you will face severe consequences. All right. Fine. I will go and make you a sandwich right away. Please, don't hurt me, or rearrange my face. Okay? A few... minutes... later... Good grief. The things I go through, for certain people sometimes. It never ceases to amaze me. I know how you feel, Andrew. But in this town with a lot of weird stuff that goes on, you just never know sometimes. A few minutes later. Thank you very much, young one. I am very well pleased at your tribute. What a yummy delicious sandwich you have made. I shall be eating it as I make my way out. Phew. Glad that's over. 
I think I may have set a record for the world's fastest BLT sandwich assembly. I think you may be right, Andrew. Of course, then again. I may have to check the record book. I have never seen a BLT sandwich assembled in a New York minute before. I wonder what else could go wrong tonight. Oh look, a cute little blue dragon. I wonder what he could possibly be doing here. Greetings, citizens, and Deke. I request of you that you bring me a sandwich, and I also request that you bring it to me as soon as possible. Great Scott, here we go again. I will go and get the Hellman's mayonnaise out of the refrigerator.